Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and Above AVL. And in this video, we're talking about some of my favorite new 2024 features in X Lights. And this one is called Aliases. Now, this is one of those features It technically I think came out late last year that um, I'm gonna tell you, when you see the term aliases in X Lights, most of the time, just click the box, say yes, or whatever you want to say and ignore it. Okay. <laughs> That's the simple explanation. But what I want to do is kind of talk about it and let you know how it affects you and how it makes making your Christmas light display much, much, much easier, especially if you import things or if you change the names of objects in X lights. Let's dive in. Okay. So here we are in the layout view. This is one place where you're gonna see aliases. And you highlight over it and it tells you that it gives you alternate names. Okay, so you go, huh, what does that mean? Okay, so essentially, you know, back in the old ancient days, as in, you know, last year, um, if you went ahead and changed the name of something, like I changed this to 4B right here, okay, this pop-up would not come up and it would just change the name, right? You would just change the name of the prop and the name would change. And when you did that, what would happen? If you've been around to X lights, if you've been around a display, then you'll know that any sequence that you had used this model in, this particular prop, it would now break, right? You'd open it and it would say, hey, this item's not there. Do you wanna try to match it up to something new? Do you wanna just delete it? What do you wanna do, right? It was really kind of annoying if for any reason you changed the names of things. And so what this pop-up now is doing is if we hit yes, in this aliases section, it now tells me, it gives me an alias for what this used to be. And I can add more manually if I want. And the beauty of this is that now if I open an old sequence, it's gonna just keep the mapping the same. It's gonna say, okay, this, Chroma Flake 24 three prong 4B is part of my show. It's good. We know what it is. It was called Chroma Flake 24 three prong four, um, but now it's called 4B and it's good to go. Okay, where else does this come into play? Oh man, this is stinking cool. So if you import a sequence, okay, so let's just create a new musical sequence. Erg. I mean, I've got stuff in here. I'm just going to go and then I'm going to go import something completely different. It doesn't matter. So I go to import, import effects, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to go find a sequence. So I know I've got my sequences full folder here, and then I'm just going to grab something. Automatically, You, if you've done this before, you'll know that these particular items here that are bolded will work if I hit auto map, right? I hit auto map and it's like, okay, these various items, they matched up name by name to what I have in my display, right? So what was in the, the sequence display, which I believe is PPD, matched right over into mine. But a lot of stuff doesn't. And so, for example, you know, I go, okay, you know, they've got a group called all display. That's everything. Mine is called all, right? So if I just take that here, and then I hit update all aliases using mapping, okay? What that is then going to do, I believe, uh, is it's going to then allow me to get out of this, do it again, okay? And this time when I hit auto map, my all group matches up to all display, even though the name's not the same. So in the past, auto map, you know, you would basically auto map whatever lined up. And if you bought all your sequences from one particular sequencer, again, this is Pixel Pro Displays, great guys, then it would automatically, if the names were exactly identical, they would just match up. Now that I updated my aliases, now anytime I open up one from this sequence vendor, from PPD in this case, it's just going to match up because I've got the alias in there on that all group to the name all display, which is what PPD used. I believe this is PPD. My apologies if it's not. And so that's really cool because now if you get some from PPD and you get some from somewhere else and somewhere else and somewhere else, you update your aliases every time. What's going to start to happen is in your layout, right? For example, we'll just show you in the all group. There should be a place. I don't even know where to find it. Um, where you can see the aliases. I honestly don't know how to see them. But 
what you would see if you looked in there, if, if it had a spot to see them, because I'm not sure if there is one, is you would start to just see aliases stacking up. And generally, that's, that shouldn't be a problem. I do believe there's some section, if you try to alias two things the same, um, let's just do it where it's going to tell you about it and tell you that, you know, that's a bad idea and it's not going to work, right? Um, so let's just say we go ahead and we give this the alias A. And then we go to this one and we give it the alias A. Okay, it lets you do it. Um, so that's something to watch out for. Um, obviously, if you have multiple items that have the same alias, that could create problems. But for the most part, by in large, this new feature is one that is just going to fly under the radar for people. But as you're building your sequences, as you're importing, as you're working with your show, having the ability to just hit yes pretty much any time that, that alias dialogue comes up is just going to make your light show simpler. Because now when you go in the future from time to time, it's like, okay, now we go ahead and it's in there and we just hit auto map and it just works. It's just one less thing to match up, one th more thing to make it easier. So... Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're new to this hobby this season and you're like, I don't know where to start, David. I don't know what to do. We have the only step-by-step -step in order online accessible course for you guys. It's in what we call the Learn Christmas Lighting Academy, where we've got courses. We've also got help from our experts in the forums so that we can help you create an amazing Christmas light display and not stress out. So go check out the Academy. Also, if you're new, we have a free guide. So totally free. The Academy you can try out for just a buck, which is awesome, but totally free. You can uh, grab the four things you really need to know before you start a Christmas light display over on our site. And then last but not least, guys, um, you know, when you're thinking about this season, you're putting your stuff up, you're going to be wrapping up your cables later. Um, what do you use to tie your cables to make them less of a mess when you put them away so it's not a hot mess? If you're tying knots into your cables, that can create breakages. Um, if you're not using any sort of cable tie at all, then it's a huge mess when you get to it next year. Um, we've got the solution now. These are the best cable ties you've ever used. Um, they are awesome. We're just going to pull one out here and show you. Um, they go around your cable. They have a nice metal loop that doesn't rust outside. We've left these outside for months on end. A high quality um, hook and loop fastener because we can't say the brand name. Um, I guess it's not the, the official brand. And these things rock. We've been using these on all of our cables uh, for a few months now. And, you know, leaving them outside, abusing them. And these things are really incredible. So if you're adding, if you're using cables in your display and everyone does, get one of these. They're so cheap, especially if you're buying other stuff from our store and you hit the free shipping threshold. They're super cheap. You get um, a 25 pack and you're able to then tie your stuff up and be organized so you have a more stress-free Christmas display because that's what we're all about here. So check those out. We'll have the link below. Of course, we want to be your store for everything we can possibly can at aboveavl.com. So please come visit us and then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.